I'm Ichia. Um, I'm from Isku Sama de la Omada. Uh, we are one of the winners of the Star Golden Hearts Award 2022. Uh, so Isku builds young leaders through holistic education that equips children and youth with literacy, skills, and critical thinking necessary to find solutions to the problems faced by their communities in Omada. Chua was in Bula Omada in 2013 for a diving trip to Mabo when she was approached by a young girl from the Bajau Lao community. I was walking around the beach in Omada, then I saw a group of children playing. And one of them can speak Bahasa. Then I spoke to her. I asked her a question like, uh, can you ask a friend if they would like to go to school? And her name is Fakina. She was my translator. And then the children said, no, we don't want to go to, want to, go to school. Then, then I asked them, why? Why don't she want to go to school? They said, we are not smart, we are shy. Then I asked them, uh, if your friend Fakina teach you, would you then, would you want to learn from her? Then they think, think, think. They said, mm, okay, we can learn from her. It was then she got the idea of setting up a school where the youngsters who were literate could become teachers and teach the children. I was very involved in civil society movement, like with the Sai Anak Bangsa from Malaysia, Occupy Dataran. So I also have some experience in facilitating stuff like that. Lah. I believe in bottoms up a approach. So I, want, I didn't want it to be like from me, top down. Right? I wanted it to be from them, the communities. They started small, teaching basic ABCs and numbers at the veranda of a house there. After a few years, some of the children graduated from the school and became teachers themselves, known as Master Arikik, Baja words for little teachers. Master Arikik dipilih berdasarkan pelajar-pelajar kami yang best 2015 yang sudah graduate pada tahun 2020. Dan kami panggil beberapa orang yang boleh memberi komitmen dan minat untuk mengajar. To date, there are three master arikiks joined by one full-time teacher and a coordinator. One of the master arikiks is former school student Bill Queen Jimmy Saleh. The 18-year-old has been teaching at the school for two years. Walaupun penat macam mana pun, saya ingin mengajar lagi sebab saya mau uh, adik-adik saya, sepupu saya, apa semua bangsa saya uh, saya mau pandai lagi macam saya. Uh, harapan saya untuk masa depan, um, school ini uh, membesar lagi dan tiada, tiada lagi anak-anak tercicir dalam pendidikan. Another little teacher, 16-year-old Shima Manan concurred, saying that her passion in teaching will help more children in the area to have better quality of life through education. For Chua, the student's passion for learning motivates her to do more for the community there. One of my inspiration was when you had the Chua class and I saw how, how much fun they were having, I was very inspired. And when we started the first, first class, before the school start, the children were already lining up waiting outside, like very eager to come to school. And also, I think they are, their semangat to study yeah, really helps me to go further lah, to continue this project because I know how much they appreciate, I mean how much they wanted to learn. Currently, the makeshift school teaches around 35 students aged 7 to 13. Aside from teaching basic literacy and mathematics, the school also educates students on the environment and basic sanitation. Given that there is no access to basic healthcare facilities on the island for stateless communities, the school has set up a mini clinic. Right now, it's still become mini clinic in Omada. Mm. There's no clinic there, right? So when people are sick or they get cut, they'll come to the school. So we want to train 10 first aiders among the youth. And then we are also planning to work with Malaysian Mental Health Association with one of our, our members to provide a mental health first aid and also res resilient workshop for the stateless children. As part of ensuring the school's sustainability, Chua said it was paramount that the children who had graduated be able to run it in the future. To achieve that, a school is providing training in future-proof skills such as filmmaking and content creation funded by the United Nations Development Programme's Small Grants Programme. A number of collaborations with other organisations have also taken place, including grants from Yayasan Hasana of Kazana National. 
The grant expanded its school's humanitarian efforts beyond education, such as providing water tanks for the community to harvest rainwater. They also started a mini farm using hydroponic methods with help from University Putra Malaysia. Jeffrey, who teaches full time at his school, said he hoped the future of the stateless community in Omada can be improved by receiving recognition from the government. Kita tidak tahu apa keadaan ketika itu bagaimana ketika mereka sudah habis itu bagaimana, tapi kita mengharapkan ketika itu keadaan membenarkan cita-cita itu ter- tercapai. Seperti cita-citanya mereka boleh bekerja secara legal. Mereka boleh menyambung pembelajaran mereka dengan baguslah, dengan baik, dengan jalan yang betul. Tidak 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 senang untuk kita kita menjangkakan apa yang akan berlaku kepada orang-orang begini. Untuk orang yang langsung tiada dokumen atau orang tanpa negara, stateless, mereka ni seperti hantu. Siapa yang akan melindungi mereka? Tidak ada seorang pun negara yang akan bertanggungjawab yang kata, okey, ini adalah kami, kami akan akan melindungi mereka. Thank you.